Viewers and subscribers, a bag of things, Media TV. Bad news rock up the whole of Jamaica right now. Three women killed in two days in ongoing gang feud in St. Andrew. The cops, they must say. Right now, I tell you, women are get shot from left to right. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I don't want the people them get scared. But me I tell you no, I see you. Bag of things, me, they have to make a statement. If I know bag of things, TV, it no make sense. A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time. <laughs> bag of things, TV, media. Viewers and subscribers, three women no dead following three separate shooting incident in the last two days amid what the police believe is an ongoing gang conflict. In St. Andrew South area. Jaja boy. It come like a man them now. I go after each other mother. Saying our sister, our auntie. And that I go on you know. The latest victim identified as Stephanie. Was shot dead while walking on Delamere Avenue. About 11 a.m. today. Her attackers were reportedly traveling on a motorcycle. Head of the St. Andrew South Police Division. Superintendent Damian Manderson told the Loop News that his team wants to stem the apparent trend of women being targeted in the ongoing conflict, which has been described as a tit-for-tat over the past four weeks. You know, so when I say a tit-for-tat, you know, this is a person, family get hurt, the next person go for the next person, family, and yo, this is an ongoing thing. The people are saying, no, the first of the three women was killed yesterday while at home. A man was also killed in that incident. When you check the archive, I did story in regards to that. When you know something, I keep on update with everything, you know, fully abreast. On the heels of the double murder, the second woman was shot in the head. Watch as Superintendent Manderson details what his team's intelligence has so far yielded and the steps being taken by the police to tackle the feud. So right now, the police, the mafia run up and down and I scratch their head. I try to find out a war really a cause this, you know. And I try to make sure so they put a wedge between the killing war go on because it's not stop. The man they might kill mother, sister, auntie, everybody. Yo, Jaja, would you give me some like man I wanna please and thanks? Touch up the notification bell too. Saying who not subscribe yet, hurry up and subscribe to the channel. You see it? No viewers and subscribers, a mother of four gone down. In the whole thing, you know, I'm your going to so information upon it. Mother of four, three women have been shot, two fatal, between Sunday and yesterday in what is believed to be a deadly feud in Bautai, Bautai land along Spanish Town Road in St. Andrew South Police Division. Among the latest victims is 39-year-old hairdresser Stephanie Boland, otherwise called Browning, who was killed on Delamere Avenue on Walton Park Road on Monday. So, me did the story yesterday, you know. But new updating, they must say, boy, a four picnic she have, you know. She go pick up one of the youth, you know, man. And the man, them near my food, right, they say, you know. See? The blood running from the sidewalk onto the road told a horrific tale of what happened to the mother of four as she went to pick up her three year old son from school. Yo, the woman went to pick up her son, you know. Three year old, you know. And at this, so the man then decides that I'm going to kill the blow woman, you know? Yo, me I'm telling you, vicious. A senior cop from St. Andrew South Police Division said about 11.45 a.m. The woman was walking along Delamere Avenue when she was attacked and shot several times by men traveling on a motorcycle. She was transported to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. At that, me I try to tell you, at that I go on, man. I bear them sitting there, go on, man. And it has stemmed from gang violence. A gang violence, you know, gang of fight against gang, you know. And a beard is sitting there going, you know. The paper goes on to say Boland's murder followed a double murder in the area on Sunday. 20 year old Shakira Thomas and 21 year old Tyler Taylor, both Bow Thailand, were at home when armed men come in and kill them. You know, see? So because that woman is dead now, they retaliate. And a beer retaliation, I go on. Yo, me I tell you, say, place around red, viewers and subscribers. A mad sitting, I go on, the place turn up upside down. Police them, they're on the ground, soldiers they're on the ground. And the man, they're trying to put everything together right now. I be a madness. You see me, I say, 
And during that, the cops them find a big old little submachine gun in St. Thomas. Submachine gun bagged by cops in St. Thomas. Yes, man. So the police them are reap success to see where law enforcers in St. Thomas are now in possession of an illegal firearm that was recovered during a snap raid that was conducted in Nee and Penn in the parish on Monday, July the 3rd. Reports from the Morant Bay Police are that about 3 p.m. The law enforcers acting on intelligence conducted an operation in the mention area during which a Mac-10 submachine gun with serial number erased was found and seized. You see that? So the man in Holland Panino is a Mac-10, you know? Big old Lottie Mark 10. No one has been arrested in relation to the seizure. Investigations are ongoing into the fine. Yeah, at least they find a gun still, me not lie. Me didn't want them for hold on for somebody still. But it look like said that person they take away himself, you know, completely, you know. But you hear me I say man, sometimes them lucky, sometimes they're not lucky. The dirty criminal them. You understand? You still have to give thanks. Say a gun is off the streets, right? That's so, all. You see me? So good work for the police them and good work from the citizens them. We are dropping information them. The informant, the informants. We are work and I give the police them information. Good work. Big up all of the informer them in the area. We are doing the Lord's work. You see me? I say, man has a respect to the man. You see it? Because the police can't do it alone. I tell you now already, I'm mean, telling you now again, you know. The police them overseas in a foreign country, they are effective because people run information. Remember them try to sell out to Jamaican people them and convince them and trick them. But who don't know if talk up the things them on all in form of a dead and them something and them put all in a music. You see me? But now is the time we have to change that. It have to change. I eat my shop Jamaica. Cause people see things, you know. Them see I'm blind and hear and deaf, you know. And by the time you take a stock, you find out so the criminal them, them can kill who they want to kill. Touch up on the daughter them and all them something to assault the people them in the community. Nobody now say nothing because nobody now want to call informer. Right and now, it is good to be called informer or informant because you do your civic duty and you do the Lord's work. You try to help to clean up Jamaica, which we need right now. Right about now, we need Jamaica to be cleaned up. You see me, I say? The people them overseas want to leave this country and go back home. They want to go back to their country where they born and grow, where they love dearly, and that's Jamaica. But right now, I talk to some people overseas and they say, boy, they're not ready yet. Because they go and watch out of their eye and I see what I go on. And they must say, boy, they never make a next move. And I must tell them straight up, watch out of your right now, make a crime clean up. We want to clean up before the people of Jamaica can hear if we settle back in and build a thing and build on a thing and go and grow. Because right now, I'll be a chaos and go on. You see me? I say, yeah, man, but it's going to be dealt with you now. Police them all sort out the thing you now. The citizens them are work and the good police officers and soldiers them are work. So everything will put back in place you now. It's just a matter of time. It's just that they make it go bad one time. They make the thing go bad. They should have never make it go on so bad. No, them are fear to do the clean up job and I try to fix it back. When this is over, they're not supposed to make it go back like this. No time. You see me? They need to cut the tree in the road. Cut it from the bud. You see me? I say, don't play around with crime and violence. It will sneak up on you. Look how it sneak up on Jamaica. Sneak up on Jamaica. Wicked. You know? Yeah. Till it's been uncontrollable. Out of hand. You see me? I say, I'm not sure that the man could have stopped it for a long, long time. A politician, they must squabble and a fight and a go on with some things where they never should have even talk about. They should have talked about things that were necessary and needed. And the man, they waste time. No, a clean up job we have to do, you know. A fix up job we have to do, you know. You see me? When your ass are already gone through the gate. But it's not over still, you know. It's not over. We are Billy Buck. Jamaican people are Billy Buck. You see me? Work with the law enforcers them and Billy back. Politician them have got to step up and down. You see me? I say, all right, very good. I'm bagger things media TV, man. Like, share, and subscribe. Bagger things media up, TV, up, up, man. Up, up, up. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal.